Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on how to quickly find the equation of a straight line given two points. There is a quick method that we can use to find the equation of a straight line given that we have two points or the coordinates of two points. Now I'll just issue a warning before we start this. This is essentially a bit of a hack and so therefore the warning is this method may not give you all or any of the marks in an examination depending on the criteria laid out in the mark scheme but it is of course a great way to check your answers and quite a quick effective method if you need to find the equation of a line outside of an exam situation. So let's consider this a straight line passes through the points uh, minus 3 minus 2 and 110. Remember all we need to find a straight line are two points that are on that line and we can find the equation of the line that joins through those two points and that's what we've got to do here find the equation of the straight line now we're actually going to be using statistics mode to help us out uh, with this and the regression feature that's on there which should give you under normal circumstances or usual circumstances the equation of the line of regression but we can actually use it to find the equation of any line provided that we've got at least two points so let's go into statistics mode and then from the menu that we want option two here y equals a plus bx so it's sort of a little bit similar to y equals mx plus c we can find that we can actually use the same elements in there uh, b will represent the gradient of the line so our m and a will represent the c the y intercept or the constant of that line so again once again it is a little bit of a hack but provided we're okay with that it does still give us the correct results so if we press 2 and then we're presented with two columns one for our x coordinates and one for our y coordinates you'll find it easier to submit both your x coordinates first so let's do that now so it's uh, minus 3 for our first coordinate and one for our second coordinate uh, and then scroll back up to the top and we're going to input our y values now you just need to double check that you're inputting the corresponding y coordinate to the right x coordinate here so with minus three on the x it's minus two negative two on the y and then with one on the x then it's ten on the y so we should have a two coordinates here minus three minus two and one ten and once you've inputted those you can go straight to option and then regression calc regression calc and if you press that you'll see that you've got three bits of information here now what's useful for us is to look at a and b and i'll explain about r in a second now our a is going to be our plus c so that's going to be our y intercept so the y intercept is seven and b there is going to be our gradient so our gradient is three so putting that into y equals mx plus c form that means that the equation of the line will be y equals three x plus seven the R that's there, that would be referring to if we used the regression mode correctly, uh, that would be for the product moment correlation coefficient. And that would basically explain we have perfect positive correlation. Well, of course, we're going to get a perfect straight line with these two results on there. So that's why we've got perfect correlation there with a positive gradient, which is what we have. But essentially, we're interested really primarily in the gradient and the y-intercept to form our equation of a line. So let's have a go with the second question. Now you can pause it at this stage if you wanted to have a go first before I go through the answers. Um, so we've got two coordinates slightly different this time. We've got minus five, five, and we've got minus two, minus one. If you want to go back in, you can press either go back and clear out your data or you can press menu and back into statistics and option two again, and that will clear it out for you ready for your second equation. Once we've got our options of X and Y here, we're going to input the coordinates carefully. So input your X's first, negative five, negative two. There's our X coordinate and then our corresponding Y coordinate. Be careful to match the correct ones there. So five for the Y, so that's minus five, five, and then minus one, so that's minus two, minus one. And once again, it's option and regression calc here. And let's have a look at putting the components together that we have. Remember that the B is the gradient that we want. So our gradient here is minus two. And A would represent the Y intercept, the constant in that. So here we have minus five. So the equation of a line is Y equals minus two X minus five. 
And once again, the R there showing minus one. We've got perfect negative correlation between the two points. Of course, we have because we've essentially got a straight line joining the two there with a negative gradient. So there we go. A quick hack of how we can use the regression feature on the class whiz or on many other calculators actually that have that uh, to be able to quickly find the equation of a straight line if we have the coordinates of two points but that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time on the calculator guide